check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Rheumatoid arthritis is a systemic autoimmune disease which affects mostly joints, but also the cardiovascular and respiratory system. Joints that are typically affected include the hands, wrists, shoulders, elbows, knees, ankles, and feet, but the cervical spine and jaw can be affected as well. Rheumatoid arthritis may cause symptoms of joint pain, stiffness, swelling, limited range of motion, and fatigue. Medical treatment of rheumatoid arthritis has made major steps, and various disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, abbreviated as DMARTs, have made it available to treat the disease with the best effect seen with early and aggressive treatment targeting remission and tight control. However, still many people are affected by ongoing or recurrent disease activity. This and the fact that people with rheumatoid arthritis have an increased cardiovascular risk, additional non-pharmacological therapy is necessary. Here lies an important role for physiotherapy and this clinical practice guideline outlines the recommendations for physical therapy management of rheumatoid arthritis. Let's take a look at it. The guideline sums up the following recommendations regarding history taking and physical examination. For the history taking, a comprehensive inventory of the patient's health status should be done and the impact of the disease based on the ICF should be registered. Besides that, the disease course and current and previous medical treatment should be noted. Yellow and red flags should be recognized Particular signs of infection and neurological complications are red flags requiring immediate referral. The disease activity can be calculated with the Disease Activity Score, DAS28, which includes assessment of the number of swollen and painful joints, blood markers or CRP values, and the disease activity as experienced by the patient. Scores below 2.6 indicate a disease remission, Scores between 2.6 and 3.2 and between 3.2 and 5.1 indicate a low and moderate disease activity respectively. Scores exceeding 5.1 indicate a high disease activity. When the disease is highly active, this can manifest as pain, stiffness, loss of muscle function, limited endurance and or lack of motor control resulting in a danger of falling. Examples of Relevant questions for history taking in patients with rheumatoid arthritis include for the functions and anatomical characteristics, the location and the extent of the pain, the appearance of swelling, possible range of motion limitations, the presence of fatigue, but also questions on the presence of, for example, chewing problems, which may indicate a temporomandibular joint problem, or whether the patient has a dry mouth or dry eyes, which may be due to Sjögren's disease that often accompanies rheumatoid arthritis. Here, of course, questions regarding red flag detection, like whether there are sensory disorders, balance problems, acute flare-ups, signs of infection accompanied by fever or malaise, and detection of cardiovascular risk factors should be included. Questions on activity could be the usual questions like for example, whether there are difficulties in changing postures, self-care, walking, riding, or other fine motor skills. But next to these usual questions, more specifically can be asked which degree of physical activity is achieved to see if it matches with the necessary physical activity guidelines and possible impeding factors. For participation limitations, example questions may also ask about the family situation to assess the patient's daily exertion compared to his capacity. Relevant questions on external factors include whether there is a family history of rheumatoid arthritis and cardiovascular disease, if the patient takes medications and if it has side effects, if previously the patient already has received physical or exercise therapy, and the results. Questions on personal factors besides the obvious include what the patient's views regarding exercise are and which accompanying facilitators and barriers towards exercise they encounter, how the patient copes with the complaints and the effect on the complaints. Note that these questions do not include all those that should be asked, 
but may give you some guidance toward relevant questions for rheumatoid arthritis that may be missing from your regular history taking. Some relevant points of attention during the examination can be the presence and extent of swelling and joint deformities. During palpation, swelling of structures surrounding the joints, like for example bursae and tendon sheets, should be noted, as well as temperature increases of joints. Active range of motion of all joints should be examined, as well as combined functional movements, for example of the shoulder and elbow during coming of the hair. The six minute walk test is a supporting test to assess physical functioning and to use as a baseline measurement for treatment. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and refer you to physiotutors.com for a ton of relevant physiotherapy content. As always, this was Ellen for Physiotutors. I'll see you in another video.